getting here and it's now fall camp everything's underway just how's yeah. everything going here and they're really going yeah no it's been great first two days um you know i've, I've had the time to to uh, get acclimated to, the, to everything and um, i feel pretty comfortable being out there right now so it's been a lot of fun you know, one question I know a lot of people always wonder is the differences between, you know, going from a place like SMU to going to Arkansas, like an SEC school, and going into a fall camp type of situation and being under Chad Morris. Does it seem like it's still it's all the same, just different logos, different helmets, different people, all that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've, you know, I've been playing football for a long time and um, had a lot of experience with this fall camp deal. Um, so, uh, yeah, it feels the same. You know, it's, it's fun because it's new. Um, it's a little bit different, just like you said, with the logo, with the, with the team, um, with the fan base. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's been cool, and it's been a great experience so far, and I'm looking forward to looking forward to the fall. So, Talk to us about the wide receivers. Obviously, there's a lot of new faces there, some size, some athleticism, and they seem to have a lot of personality, too. How do you, how you feel that they've, the new guys especially, have acclimated, and how do you, comfortable do you feel at this point in time and how they're coming along? Yeah, no, I think uh, the big thing for all the freshmen and the guys that were here in the spring it was the summer, and I think all of them had a great summer. Um, getting bigger, getting faster, and then being able to get some timing out here um, when we were on our own and, and the coaches weren't around. So I'm proud of how all of them handled the summer, um, the, the, the things they did to get better. And, um, you know, it's been it's been fun to see them grow, and I'm looking forward to their continuous growth throughout the season. There's obviously a lot of new faces, too, in the quarterback room from a year ago. Uh, how do you feel like – is it almost like everyone's kind of going through the same steps where they're all new, they're all getting feel out, and how do you feel about the other guys that are new into the room and how they've come along as well? Yeah, no, we have a, we have a great room. I think all the guys uh, bring, a, bring a certain element to the room, um, and when you can do that, it's, it's, it's really cool when we can all – um, bring our minds together and, and talk ball and, and do the things that we're, we have to do to be successful in that room. It's 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 been neat to have um, guys from all different types of backgrounds, different playing experience. So um, it, it's been it's been a good experience. So best friend of a quarterback is a good offensive line. Obviously, not having to run around and having to chase for your life. That was a, an issue last year, but there's a lot of new faces there. There's been some development there. How do you feel like the offensive line, just as a collective unit, has really come along not only in the talent but also in the depth as well? Yeah, they're they're a great group of guys. Um, some of my favorite guys I've ever been around um, playing this game. Um, I, I really appreciate all they do um, work-wise every single day out here, and, and, and the effort they bring at practice. And yeah, we got we got a lot of depth, and um, you know that's that's helped us out. Um, and, and I'm just just proud of how they how they handle themselves and how they handle everybody. You know, bashing them a little bit and. Um, you know, they just they just come to work every day, and, and I'm proud of them for it. You know, you mentioned that about bashing them. Obviously, going two and ten is tough for for any team, but there's a lot of people saying that hey, this has got to get better this year. There's a lot of pressure and expectation, I'm sure, along with it. But how, how have y'all handled it? Is it more of a chip on your shoulder? Do you like people counting you out? Just what's the mentality there? You know, I think uh, as far as our room and, a lot, and I think a lot of the rooms, we're all indifferent. I think we know. I think we know we got to be better. I mean, obviously, you got to be better after after starting two and ten, but you know, um, I, I think everybody's indifferent, and they know that we have a job to do, and we're we're trying to do our job every single day and be better than we were the day before. And at the end of the day, if we can do that, then we'll look up, you know, whatever in September, November, October, November, and be where where we want to be. So, um, just just coming out and handling your business every single day is the most important thing, and we'll let we we'll let everybody else do the talking. All right, last one for you, man. As far as the starting quarterback, I know everyone's in that room wanting to be the starting guy, QB1, this year. Uh, has coaches relate on a timetable? Is it more just, you know, they'll know when they know? How, how is that all being handled in the progression of that? Yeah, I mean, I think, like you said, they'll know when they know. I think uh, we're all pushing. We're all very competitive. I think if you're not competitive at this position and you don't want to be the starting quarterback, then you probably need, need to go somewhere else. Um, so we're competing every single day. We're having fun with it. We're encouraging each other. So, um I think they'll, they'll name it when when they feel like it's it's time to be named. So appreciate it, man.